It's true that the little things in life can play such a large role, and a perfect example is a card. Joining Chicago Connection now from Cards for Hospitalized Kids is Jen Rubino. Your organization is a perfect example of that saying. Tell us a little about it. It's a national charitable organization that gives cards to kids who are being treated in hospitals, and we give cards to kids in hospitals around the country. And we've given over 1,200 cards out in just a couple of months. And people in any state, anywhere can get involved with us. And it's a really great way to give back and have fun at the same time. And how did all of this get started? Well, it really started just with me making cards and giving them to Children's Memorial Hospital here in Chicago. And then we slowly started getting more people involved. And then people started offering to host our card events. And then we got a website. And then people all around the country started sending cards. In. And so at that point, we really just started giving cards to hospitals around the country because we were receiving so many. And it started out with just people here in Illinois attending our card events and giving us cards. But now each month, people around the country send in cards. And it's really great. And I love your website. It has so much information. What is that for people to check out on their own? It's cardsforhospitalizedkids.com. And then we also have a Facebook page where people can get more information. But yeah, we try to have as much information on the website as we can so that people can easily get involved. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, say, if they don't personally have a relationship with a child who will be receiving the card, would that be a problem? Oh, no, not at all. Very few people have a relationship with the kids who are receiving the cards because we can't give out the name or any personal information about the child. So with the cards, you on our website, you can see the things that we recommend writing and you don't necessarily address the card to a specific person. You just, you know, give them a nice short message to give them a little bit of joy and hope. And yeah, I mean, even though you don't necessarily know the child that's receiving the card, it still has an amazing impact on the child. And I know with school breaks coming up, it'd be a great time for kids to work on cards themselves. Does it have to be store-bought? Can it be homemade? We always recommend that you hand make the cards just because that gives it a little bit more of a homey touch and it makes it a little bit more personal between you and the child. But we do sometimes have people store by the cards, but again, we always recommend that you can make them. And at the Displains Library over Christmas break on December 17th, we're actually having a card making event where kids ages 13 to 19 can come and make cards and we'll have all supplies there. And it's from one o'clock to four o'clock and it's definitely a great way for people to make cards and then People can also make cards on their own and just mail them to us. We're accepting Christmas cards until December 21st. So people have a lot of time to do that. But you also take cards year-round, and I believe I read that you send them in once a month or you accept cards and then send them to different hospitals once a month? Yes, correct. So people can send them year-round, and we like people to just send them in as often as they can because we need as many cards as we can get. All right, so once again, where can we get more information to start sending all these cards so we can cheer up sick kids? Well, on our website, you can. that's really, really where you can get all the information. We have our address there, and you can mail cards to that address, and then once you receive the cards, we give them to kids in hospitals, and we also send the person who sends in the cards a letter letting them know what hospital their cards went to and how the kids like the cards and just to thank them. Awesome. Well, something so simple can be such a big deal. Mm-hmm. It sounds simple, you know, it's just the card, but you'd be amazed the impact it has on these kids because when they're in the hospital and they have a medical condition, they really feel isolated and they're not getting to experience the normal joys of childhood. And they, in a lot of ways, feel forgotten about. And so getting to receive a card like this just means so much to them. And I know from personal experience that it really just makes an amazing impact. It only takes a couple of minutes to make a card, but it has a lasting impact on each child. Well, thank you so much for sharing all this, Jen. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. Next on Chicago Connection. More ways for you to get involved in your community.